Hi, I'm Genevieve Lyons, founder of Lyons Property Mentoring. One of the main questions I get asked is, what's the market doing? And if now is a good time to invest? In a nutshell, the market operates in cycles. So that's what we're gonna run through today. There are lots of different terms used for each stage. So please just keep in mind that this is my own personal way of explaining things. There are several factors that influence property cycles, including all things social, economical, and political. The cycle springs from population growth, which goes on to influence the demand for property. Lack of property supply enhances property value, which then boosts the rent. Then, property oversupply by developers and builders results in the rent reductions and growth standstills. Property values have a tendency to fluctuate even though cycles are well defined. Each cycle is categorised by several circumstances that indicate whether or not now is a good time to invest. The first stage of the cycle is called the demand phase. The demand phase is the shortest and easiest phase to detect as property prices skyrocket in a really short period of time. New generations of investors usually tend to enter the market at this stage when it's in full swing because newbies tend to be a little bit careless and overconfident and ready to overpay. This results in the asking price being lower than the selling price thanks to the competition between buyers. The demand phase comes to an end when the market is flooded with too many properties and the Reserve Bank boosts its interest rates. The stability phase. This one is best categorised by an oversupply of properties, a decrease in investment returns and an increase in vacancy rates. Property selling by uneducated investors usually occurs in this phase which results in a deeper decline. These uneducated investors usually purchase homes they can't afford in the earlier phase because they're tempted by the cheap interest payments. However, during this phase, many home buyers can't keep up with their mortgage repayments, which eventually leads to selling properties and not making the profit that they expected. The oversupply phase. This is the period of transition when things go back to the way they were when prices were average for this point in time, meaning things settle and the market isn't so hectic and it can sit still like this for a while, it's the longest phase in the cycle. And lastly, the absorption phase. This is the opportunity phase for investors as rent starts to rise and vacancy rates start to fall. This is a blessing in disguise for those who recognize an opportunity during the beginning rise of property values so that they're in the market for the demand phase when it comes back around, meaning that you get all the capital growth possible. When it comes to property cycles, there are clear distinctions between when the educated and uneducated choose to invest. Keep in mind though, that if you look, there are opportunities in every market. I can't stress that enough. As Warren Buffett states, be greedy when others are fearful and fearful when others are greedy. Now, people run whole weekend seminars that just focus on the market. So naturally, it's not a topic I can fit into one video like this. So if you want to know more, head to lionspropertymentoring.com and sign up to the training ring where I run through topics like this in much more detail every single week, giving you everything you need to build your own property portfolio. We'll see you there.